Okay, I'm back now. Um, I reflex the mixture for about 40 minutes and then I remove the heat and then allow the system to cool. Please do not try to disassemble a system that was under pressure. So you've heated the system for 40 minutes. So don't try to dismantle the flask immediately as soon as you remove heat. Allow the system completely to cool down to room temperature or a temperature where you can touch it. And then I got some ice bath here and then clamped the flask just to be extra safe. Uh, I don't think it's going to go anywhere, but I'm going to let it sit in the flask and then see uh, if solid forms. Once solid forms, I'm going to take it out of the bath and then just um, leave it uh, with just the clamp on and remove the ice bath. And, uh, and, then one, and then the next step would be to filter the product and then as I said you may not be able to weigh the same day you do the lab because your filter paper is going to be wet and it's not going to give you an accurate reading of the uh, sample percent so I would wait till next class and then even if you get this far and filter it I think that will be good enough but make sure you do the filtration today so you don't wait another two days or three days or however long before you come back to class to finish the weighing so I would go ahead and finish the filtration and then just leave the setup there and then come back next class and weigh the sample. But I'm going to show the filtration once uh, enough solids formed and then we'll go from there. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Bye bye. Okay, I'm back now with the final step in the Diels Alder reaction. Um, as you can see, I had the um, flask sitting in the ice bath for about 10 to 15 minutes now and um, I'm going to go ahead and do the filtration. Before you start doing filtration, make sure you have some extra xylene for washing off any solids that may be sticking to the flask so you want to keep some extra ones. And uh, I've put a Wattman filter paper and added a couple of squirts of water so that it actually sticks firmly to the walls of the funnel. And if you all notice, I got this little um, bent paper here. I learned this technique from one of my school teachers. I think I mentioned it in one of my earlier videos. If you want to know why I do this, again, just like I um, said for the mechanism, figure it out yourself. Okay. All right. So I got my adduct here. I'm going to go transfer as much of it in one go and allow the filtration to go. You can see there's so much solid still left on the flask. So I'm gonna add some xylene and give it a good rinse and then transfer that solid as well to the flask. Careful, xylene is not a very pleasant smelling liquid. It's used in paint thinners. So avoid excessive inhalation of this I may have to do another washing, so I'm going to add some more xylene. I might actually do two simultaneous filtrations and then transfer the paper because if you get the paper too wet, it's probably going to take really long time to filter it. So, or I'm going to wait till whatever's in the funnel uh, to go through before I'm going to do my second washing. You can see there's still a ton of solid left in the flask. Uh, I don't want to leave any of that out. All right. Okay, I'll be back when I do anything else with the, with the process. Okay. All right, I'm back now to show you my final product. Um, that's a result of the Diels Alder reaction between <coughs> anthracene and malic and hydride. So the bottom, the layer that's collected in the funnel is basically your um, xylene and any other impurity that might contain in it. But for the most part it is xylene because I took a drop and dropped it on my table and it evaporates right away. So it tells me that that's just xylene. Of course we also added xylene through through our uh, through the top to wash off any salt that was sticking to our round bottom flask. So 
this is not going to go down the drain okay this is very toxic and it's flammable so we have an organic waste uh, organic solvent waste container that's where this probably will end up okay so don't throw this stuff down the sink okay all right with that said you could see the malic anhydride crystals on my filter paper now like I said if you could get to this at the end of lab period which really shouldn't cost you all that time to, to complete up till this point and then you can dispose off this or just leave it on your station and your instructor might dispose it off for you because this is organic solvent it's flammable and just take a test tube and put this in and then uh, store it in your drawer or if there's a designated place in the hood then leave it there if you're going to leave it in the hood and if it's a common place you may want to label your test tube so that you know it's your sample and not somebody else's sample well this is mine so i'm going to just leave it in the hood for now until students come back on friday and do the lab and shake take a closer look at the deal you can see is that white crystal that's the uh that's the the addict i was talking about that's the product we're looking for so i think that's job well done so i'm gonna wrap this up so two two, two key aspects to do this lab well is well first make sure all your glasswares are clean and i normally uh, wash the glasswares that's needed for that particular lab as as an extra step just to make sure everything is clean and then so make sure your set your setup your glassware everything is clean and then add a boiling chip and make sure you don't go past 25 to 30 on the rheostat and once reflex starts that's when you start your timer not when you turn on the heat for the first time all right so once reflex starts you're going to either cut down the heat to about 25 because you don't really want to heat it too too fast and then uh, reflex for 30 minutes and then turn off the heat let the system come to room temperature or at least warm temperature do not try to disassemble the round bottom flask from the setup because it's been under pressure you're probably going to end up cracking the whole glassware okay and it's going to cost a lot of money so avoid doing that and then when the system cools off your instructor will probably provide you some ice and water so you can make an ice bath with it or you can have if there's a pre-made ice bath you can stick your round bottom flask in it and then uh, wait for about 10 minutes that's probably plenty 10-15 minutes is probably plenty and then you'll see crystals forming just set up um, the, the flask like I did with a little paper sticking out here and then uh, wet your filter paper so it sticks to the wall of the the container and then just go ahead and pour out your substance in here and then wash it off with add some xylene to your round bottom flask and then give it a quick shake and pour it back in here so try to get as much of the salt into the mixture and then that's it you're done with the lab all right i'll see you back with another video on a different experiment